Enthusiasts, it's Amber here and welcome to another guitar tutorial. In today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Heaven by Niall Horan. Now the lesson is going to be aimed at a more advanced player because we're going to be working with a handful of bar chords. If you are a beginner and you struggle with today's lesson content and you'd like me to create an easier version of the song, then please let me know in the comment section below. Before we begin, I'd also like to ask you to like this video and to also subscribe to my channel if you find today's lesson content valuable. Without further ado, let's jump into the lesson. Alrighty, so I've zoomed in so that we can take a closer look at the chords needed in the song. First thing that you're going to need to do is put a capo onto the first fret of your guitar. You need to do this if you want to play the song in the same key as the original. Now, using a capo is going to affect the placement of the bar chords. This is because we are going to be a half step up. So each bar chord that we need to be playing in the song is going to need to be played half a fret higher than you usually would. So just keep that in mind. Chords that we need for the song, the first one is an E major chord, which is an open chord, nice and easy. Next up, we have an F sharp minor chord, which is played as an open chord, which I think sounds much prettier. The original um, bar chord would be like this. But what Niall does in the song is he just keeps these two fingers down and he adds his first finger in the second fret, if we're counting one, two and he has it in the second fret on the third string. Make sure that you're not strumming the sixth string when you're playing the F sharp minor chord. If you would like, you can use your, your second finger to mute that string so that it doesn't ring out. So we have an E, we're then gonna be going to that F sharp minor, which is quite cool. We can take our first finger, and slide it into that second fret and then form the shape with our third and fourth fingers. Now, if you like to play an E chord with your second, third and fourth fingers, that's also fine. What you can then do is slide your third and fourth fingers and then add the first. So there's two ways you can, you can play this transition. Or the way I do it, which is playing E with these fingers and then sliding my first finger up to the second fret and adding third and fourth fingers. So you just need to do what's comfortable for you. Next up, we have an A major chord. Now we're gonna have two options here because I like to use both options in the song. So the first option is just obviously the open A chord. And please use this if this is more comfortable for you. Otherwise, you can use an A major bar chord. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, cool, A major bar chord, fifth fret, there we go. But remember that we're not counting from the first fret. We're counting from the second fret as fret one. So we have to count one, two, three, four, five. So your eye might not recognize this as an A chord. You might think this is, sounds like more of an A sharp chord. But for this song, it's an A major chord. Alright, so we don't want to make the mistake of playing that shape in this fret because it's not going to sound the same. If I play an A major open chord and then go to this fret, it's a whole half step too low. So we need to make sure we're playing in that fret over here. Okay. The pre-chorus section of the song is going to be played using just bar chords. So this is a little bit more tricky, especially if you are a beginner. However, give it a go. So we're going to be starting with a G sharp minor chord shape, and we're going to be using an E minor shape with a bar. From there, we're going to drop down to an A minor chord shape, and we're going to be playing a C sharp minor chord. So this is actually quite a nice transition because the chords don't change out of the frets that you're barring. 
So we have G sharp minor, and then we're moving it into a C sharp minor. The next chord is that A major bar chord, which we already know. And then we're going to slide this up two frets, one, two, to play the B major. So in essence, that is the pre-chorus chord sequence. So moving on into learning the strumming pattern of the song, it sounds like this. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. It's quite complicated, slow it down first, and then once you feel more confident, you can speed it up. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. The chords used in the verse of the song are our E major, so that open F sharp minor chord, and then our A major bar chord. And in order to get the same sound and, and to capture the same essence that we hear in the studio recording, we're going to have to implement something called a palm mute technique. So you're going to take the inside of your palm, of your strumming hand, and you're going to lay that just in front of the bridge, resting very lightly on your strings. So that when you're strumming your chords, you're going to get a, a more of a muted sound. So it's going to sound like this. Down, 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 down. down, down. To the A. And notice I'm doing the strumming pattern twice on each chord. uses the same chords that we were using in the verse but we're going to stop using the palm muting technique and we're going to rather use a full strumming hand just to open up the chorus and for it to sound a little bit more powerful so we're going to start on that E major chord to the A major bar chord, I like to go to an open A chord just because I can really strum all the strings and not worry about any buzzing strings, especially because, you know, bar chord might not ring out as clean and as clearly as an open chord. So the chorus will sound like this. section of today's lesson is learning the pre-chorus of the song. Now this is when we're going to be utilizing just the bar chords that we learned earlier on in the lesson. So the first chord in the pre-chorus is the G sharp minor. So remember because we've got a capo on we would usually be playing a G sharp minor chord in the fourth fret but because of the capo we have to move everything up by one fret. So the G sharp minor chord is going to be in our fifth fret if we count from here, one, two, three, four, five, but remember we're going to be counting from the capo, one, two, three, four. So we're going to have our G sharp minor chord, and we're going to just hold it for two counts with one strum. Thereafter, we're going to move to our C minor chord, which is just shifted down with an A minor chord shape with these fingers, and we're going to strum once, and also hold it for two counts. So we're going to have one, two, one, two. We then move to that A major chord shape, which we have already been using in the verse. And we're going to hold for two counts before moving to our B chord shape. So we shift that up two frets for one count and then move back to A for one count. So it's going to sound like this in total. One, two, change. One, two to A, one, two, B, A. Let's do it one more time. One, two, one, two, one, two, one count, one count. And our second line of the pre chorus starts the same with our G sharp minor chord, two counts. One, two, C 
C-sharp minor for two counts. One, two. We're going to go to our A major chord for three counts. One, two, three. And then when we shift up to that B major chord, we're going to replicate what the drum kit does in the song, which is like bum, bum, bum. So we're going to strum three times on the B before we move back to the chorus, which, which has that E major chord. So let's do the whole pre-chorus in total, starting on that G sharp minor. Together and join me in the next section of this lesson for a play along. One, two, three, go. Strange light revolves around you, you float across the room. Your touch is made of something heaven can hold a candle to. You're made of something new, let's not get complicated. my tutorial today I hope that you enjoyed today's lesson content if you did don't forget to give me that like and to subscribe to my channel every week I release new lessons on a Sunday to help you become a better guitarist don't forget to drop down into my comments and to also say hello I absolutely love reading all your messages to me thank you again for your support and I'm sure I'll be seeing you in the next lesson bye